So the uh, chant I'm going to um, share with you uh, comes from uh, this, this tradition. Uh, should be in your notes there. And uh, I'm going to chant it for you, so you can just listen. Uh, and there's some hand gestures that go with it. These hand gestures are actually called nyasa. There's a process uh, that's combined with chanting in India called nyasa. Go ahead. Uh, which means to place something, to put it where it belongs. Uh, the term vinyasa comes from the same uh, word. Uh, and the idea is that as we chant these various words, we're indicating where they live in the body, and in addition to that, how they move. So if I wanted to give you a rough translation of this chant, it would be something like, Oh, hello, my inhale, my inhale, oh, hello. <laughs> say say thing backwards. My inhale, you move this way. Oh, hello, my exhale, my exhale, oh, hello. My exhale, you move this way. Oh, right here. <laughs> Hari hi om. Okay, so that's how it goes. Now I'll say it in Sanskrit. It'll sound nicer. <laughs> om namo pranaya. Pranaya nama om. Pranaya suaha. Om namo apanaya. Apanaya. Nama Om Apanaya Swaha Om Swaha Hari Now, you're not allowed to look. Close book. Sorry, it's an oral tradition. You have to listen. Come on. You're not, if you're reading, you're not going to be, you know, connected with the thing. You can't get it wrong, really. Just hum, move your mouth. I don't care. It usually works out pretty well. so much better with the group because I tend to go off-key a little bit less. 
Yeah, if you can manage to go off-key in three-tone Vedic chanting, I figure out how. Uh, it's gotten better over the years.